celebrate the UConn women's basketball team. We have two local hockey teams playing for a national championship, Yale and Quinnipiac at the Frozen Four tomorrow. John Pearson spent the day with both teams and is live in Pittsburgh with more. John. Well, Eric, I'll tell you what, it's still kind of hard to believe that two of the teams left in the Frozen Four are from Connecticut. Yale and Quinnipiac, they both arrived here in Pittsburgh yesterday and got down to business today. Okay, who's excited to be here? You know, we're really excited to be here. Really excited. Or we're excited to be here. We're just really excited to be here. Just really excited to be here. Oh, you get the idea. Every player from every team feels the same, just two wins away from a national championship. Yale was the first team to hit the ice today. They're the underdog in tomorrow's game with UMass Lowell. That's fine if people want to write us off. You know, they did it last weekend. And we're the team in the Frozen Four from that region. We understand what we are in, in our locker room, so we're just going to stick to our game plan and uh, we'll go out and obviously do our best. So. Meanwhile, Quinnipiac is the overall number one seed. The Bobcats are the favorite to win it all. We've handled it pretty well uh, for the most part all year, and uh, yeah, we're fine with it, and we're, we're not going to put any uh, extra pressure on ourselves. Both teams will tell you this is a business trip. You want to start with business or pleasure? <laughs> business. But staying loose is important in both locker rooms. Just ask Yale sniper Kenny Agostino. The big question is, is your hair connected to your hat? <laughs> it is not. Yeah, I mean, it's a crusty the clown look, you know, off the Simpsons. So uh, it's, it's a great look for him, I guess. It works. You think he pulls it off, Tommy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of guys will love that, though. Um, you know, they say I kind of look like crusty the clown with the hat on, which I don't disagree with. <laughs> Over in the Bobcats locker room, the vibe was just as focused and easy going. What do you think of Kevin Bowie? Oh. <laughs> I hate Kevin Bowie. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Corey Hibbler will change his mind tomorrow if Kevin Bowie comes up big again for the Bobcats. They drop the puck at 8 o'clock. Yale gets going at 4.30. In Pittsburgh, I'm John Pearson, News 8 Sports.